Hi guys, it's Bill and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using the Cricut Mug Press to make a Star Trek colour changing mug. So let's get started. Okay, so jumping here into Illustrator, I've already made a start on how I want my mug to look. Here on the left hand side, I've got the Alert Condition Red um, logo that pops up whenever it's basically red alert. Um, I've already gone ahead and illustrated that out on how I want it to look. It's in four little parts. Now, what I want is I want I want it to actually say red alert, and then in white it's going to say coffee getting cold. Another thing that I want to introduce is when I made the Star Trek um, Lycar screen, which is obviously this is what it's um, based off, I illustrated this. I'm actually going to take in a few little bits from that and then um, we will hopefully be incorporating those as well but I'll put those off to one side for now. So I've got here Helvetica Nu um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that slightly larger and I'm going to outline it. If you're on a Mac it's Command Shift 0 um, not sure what that is on a PC, but I'm going to undo that quickly and I'm just going to make a copy. By that, you press command or option, sorry, or the alt key and you drag it down. And then I will outline that. Um, the reason I'm going to outline it is because when you put copy in, when you save this as an SVG and put it into Cricut Design Space, it doesn't recognize fonts. So any live fonts have to be done in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to take this one, uh, which is the direct selection tool, which is number A on your keyboard. I'm just going to hover over alert. I'm going to copy, going to delete, and I'm going to paste back in. That's going to go down there, but that's absolutely fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make these both the same size. So, And we will make you red as well. And then that is how the red alert will look. Can I stretch that out? I can. So that will be our red alert. And let's just line everything up, make it look nice and neat. We also have these parts down here that I did before. We can have these in white or we can have these in different color. For the moment, I will put them white, uh, red, sorry. Okay, so I've laid this out and I'm pretty happy with, with how it looks. And what we also need to do is we need to save it as an SVG. And then what we'll do is we will jump over into Cricut Design Space. Um, we click Upload, Upload Image, and you can um, hit Browse or you can drag and drop. This will come in. It's just going to be a cut image, so we'll click Upload. It will take a moment to do that. We want that to go into our um, canvas. So we'll click canvas. Now the first thing you'll see is it comes in and it's all out of place. It's not a problem. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to ungroup everything. So we have it how we want it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save this. I have actually already saved it. But if you haven't, you just click up here, click save, and that will save it for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over onto projects. And I actually want um, a mug. That I've already got one bookmarked. And what you need to search for is a mug design setup. This is going to give you 20 different templates that you can use, ranging from all different sizes with all different edges. I just want the straight edge. So that's what I'm going to click on and I'm going to click customize. My project is going to disappear. That's absolutely fine. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to go back to my stuff. And then I'm going to click back onto my mug. I'm going to hit um, customize and then I'm going to copy and paste that in. So now I've got that in in design space and that is going to be ready for me to start working on. So now I've copied and pasted this part in. What we're going to do is we're going to detach. So we've got a couple of things that we need to get ready. Because we're going to be using 
infusible ink, what we need to do is we need to actually cut out the elements that we want red and also in this case white as well, which is going to be all of this here. So the entire coffee, uh, coffee getting cold. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I always find that easier. And I'm going to take you. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to take you. You are detached. I'm going to hide you for a second because I find that easier to have the least amount of things that I don't need on the artboard. I find that a lot easier. And I'm going to hide you as well. So I'm going to take all of you. I am going to duplicate this and I'm going to group it and hide it just in case I make a mistake. Again, I find that easier. And I'm also going to group this as well. And I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to come up to align and center. So that is how it will look. I now need to figure out if I want to have this all red or if I want to have it as different colors. I'm actually going to have it all red and I will tell you why in a second. What we need to do is we need to um, cookie cutter this out. When you're slicing, you can only have two layers at a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to get everything ready. So I'm actually going to ungroup this and to take this. And this is going to be a basic cut. Now, at the moment, if I click on here, you'll see that I'm able to slice that out, which is brilliant. It looks like everything's disappeared. That's fine. It just brings everything to the front. So I still want that, that element, because I want that in red. So that's fine. That can stay there. And then obviously we have this, which I can delete. And you'll see that it's now clear. So what I will do is I will move this, I will send that to the back, and then we've got this bit. So let me ungroup this as well. Now we've got coffee getting cold. And again, if I click on the back and slice that, which I'm going to delete, and I've got this. And because I'm going to have this in white, I can also delete that as well. And again, I am going to send that to the back. And now I've got this part. Now these parts are all individual and I'm thinking that I'm going to have it all in red. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to come down onto here and I'm going to come down to Unite. That will make it all one layer, but you can still edit it if you wish. And then if I click on the back layer, I'm now able to slice and that that slice it did but not very well let me undo that let's try that again so currently don't have these bits selected so let's go up to here nope. so let's see if i can drop those in so i can so that's actually good to know so the bits that you don't have you can also drop those in so that's brilliant so now if i click click on you and i click on you I can come back down here to slice, I can hit slice and I can take you away and then I can delete you. So now this is ready for us to cut. I will actually just turn black so you can see what it will look like. Really hoping this works. Um, I've never laid up um, infusible wink before so this is a bit of a learning curve for me. So then what we do is we click on make it. And it's going to go into two different boards. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that everything is mirrored. Hi guys, editing Bill here from the future. The one thing that I did forget to say, um, when you come to cut, what you need to do is you need to select both the artwork that we created and the template as well. And what you will do is if they're unaligned, you just select them, go up to align, align center and attach and that will now be ready to cut okay so infusible ink i am kind of new to the whole thing of infusible ink and i have purchased some off-brand infusible ink that i got off of amazon along with to match all proper 
infusible ink with the off-brand stuff that I got I noticed on the red and I don't know if you can see this very well there's some really weird artifacts um, on there and I'm really worried that if I use this that's going to um, print onto the mug which I don't really want this I will use for a different project are however going to use the Cricut infusible ink so what do we get in here we get some silica gel a little bit of instructions and we also get a cloth for cleaning as well oh and you get some butcher paper too which is kind of nice it's really I think it's really nice that they give you this kind of stuff because this can all actually end up being quite expensive so the first thing you'll notice with infusible ink you probably already know this it's very dull that is perfectly normal obviously our red is a very salmony pink right so i've got my mats i've got my black infusible ink that's the first one i'm going to cut and take this off um, so with infusible ink you want to handle this as least as possible um, because it's the oils on your skin can affect it so i would always use a brayer Okay, so now what we do is we click on continue and it's going to search for our Cricut machine. Here we go. And what we want to click on is browse all materials. Just going to write in ink. Oh, if I can spell ink. And we have got infusible ink sheet and we'll hit continue. So it will give you a, a warning to say make sure that the um, mirror is turned on and let's cut our materials. Okay, so our um, infusible ink has cut, so you can see that. Let's take this off of here. I don't quite know how, but I've managed to cut off the end piece. Okay, so my red has cut and I kind of got the feeling it's done the same thing. It's cut all the way through, which it has. Here is where it gets a little bit tricky. So we've got, this will obviously be back to front. And what we want to do is we want to take out all the pieces that we want in red and obviously in white as well. Okay, so I have cut out my infusible ink. Um, off camera, I actually ended up cutting out the coffee getting cold in red as well. Kind of felt confident enough that that would work. Um, I mean, let's face it, we've had so many issues with this, with it cutting through the back anyway. I thought we might as well give it a try. That's my heat press beeping at me, telling me that it is ready. So now obviously what we need to do is get our mug prepped. This is a colour changing mug. Um, there are actually 11 ounce mugs. So I've got my heat transfer, um, heat resistant tape at the ready. And we want to line this up best we can. Okay, so we've already had our first casualty, which has been the I so we'll get that back in so we want that on and we want that round as tight as we can get it and I think that is this tape on I'm going to make sure I use lots of tape um the more tape you use the tighter and the safer it's going to be on there okay so my mug is now fully wrapped and you don't really need to use um, any parchment paper when you're using infusible ink because it's already got the plastic around it. So what I've actually got, is I've actually got a Teflon sheet, which I'm going to use. Um, my heat press is on. Um, 
there's no settings on this you literally switch it on it heats up and it sorts everything else out for you so you need to get it in here and lined up so just like this and then you need to line the handle in between these two pieces which i will do like that and it will beep and once it's it will go on once it's beeped it's basically ready so let's see okay so the uh, mug press has just beeped which means the mug is ready so all we do is lift it up we hold it by the handle um, because it gets very very hot and let's turn the mug press off you can see the mug is cold here but because it's a color changing you can see that it's hot here so let's take off very carefully the infusible ink sheets and you can see all the little bits fall out that's come out really really well uh, let's show you that so it says red alert coffee getting cold very very happy with how that came out um yeah i think that came out really really well really really happy with that i'm glad i put in all the little letters in red um i think you know i was quite lucky with that there's a tiny bit where it hasn't quite matched up but i think that's fine you wouldn't even really notice it from a distance awesome so there you are that is a color changing star trek mug Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.